begin in our customary manner, lighting a candle to bring our awareness into God's presence, reminding ourselves that God is always waiting for us to show up. And we begin with a very brief prayer based on Psalm 69. Let us pray. God, help me as I grow in hope and faith. Amen. That's what you call short and sweet. Well, today we move into a new phase of our Ignatian journey. I've been talking to you about spirituality, giving you some of the major tenets. Today, something different. The beginning of a new part of the journey, if you'd like to come with me. Instead of talking about it, I'm going to invite you to come into it and try out an Ignatian exercise. I've been doing some online study and these exercises that I'm going to share with you come from Michael Hansen, a Jesuit in Sydney, and they're all around the metaphor of the field hospital. And that is, as a consequence, of what Pope Francis had to say about the need of the church today. So I'll read you this little excerpt. I see clearly that the thing the church needs most today is the ability to heal wounds and to warm the hearts of the faithful. It needs nearness, proximity. I see the church as a field hospital after battle. So all of these little exercises take the well-known areas of medical treatment. I'm going to read you the headings and under each of these levels in the hospital directory there are four different exercises but you'll know these as you hear them. The first one is admissions, then emergency, triage, first aid, critical care, immunology, recovery. Diagnostic imaging, transfusion, transfusion, surgery, intensive care, coronary care, walking wounded, pain management, physiotherapy, pathology, haematology, orthopaedics, outpatient health, chaplaincy team. So on, under each of those headings, there are exercises. Each exercise is based on the Ignatian model, using the imagination, moving into close proximity to the spirit. They start with a symbol. Very often you will be asked to bring something at the beginning of the exercise. And today's is, I have my coffee cup. A cup or something that represents for you the sense of sharing and welcome when you bring someone into your home. Something of sharing. So I'm going to give you a moment while you scurry away and pick up something that you can hold in your hand because we begin with touch. I have here a little, another little thing I could have held in my hand, my votive candle container. So the idea is that there's something physical Do you have something to hand? Now, I'm going to read to you and invite you to perhaps close your eyes and move into the meditative space where you are going to use your imagination. Part of this exercise and each of the exercises is to recall a story, something that's happened somewhere in your life. Sometimes I find that the hardest thing to do which particular episode, instant experience would I draw on? So I'm going to give you a little bit of time when it comes to that one. These little exercises can be prayed in a group. I'm going to do them today for you individually. But if you wanted to share this one, you could share it with a group. And there you would listen to each other as you come to your particular story. 
So, with your symbol, settle back into a comfortable position. You might like to close your eyes. Take a few calming, centering breaths. This one's called Admissions Welcome. Touch. I prepare a cup of tea or coffee or warm milk, something that I would normally offer to guests to make them feel at home. And I can I hold that container in my hand. I hold it remembering all the times and ways I have warmly welcomed both friends and strangers. I remember a small story of being really welcomed when I needed it. If praying alone, I hold that memory if I am praying in a group, I share it with them, listening in turn to their stories, feeling touched by the spirit of welcome. I begin to understand how important something so simple might be in these isolating and alienating times. Desire I desire to be a welcoming person. I slowly and prayerfully listen to these prayer texts. If there is a famine in the land, if there is plague, blight, mildew, locusts or caterpillar, if their enemy besieges them in any of these cities, whatever plague, whatever sickness there is, whatever prayer, whatever plea there is from any individual or from all your people Israel, all knowing the afflictions of their own hearts, so that they stretch out their hands toward this house. Then hear in heaven your dwelling place. Forgive, act and render to all whose hearts you know. 1 Kings chapter 8 I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me, naked, and you did not give me clothing, sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison? and did not take care of you, then he will answer, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one another, to the least of these, you did not do it to me. Matthew 25, 43 to 45 Now I've listened to these texts. I name all the people I want to welcome, to stretch out my hands to help. I ask the spirit of welcome for the gift to be a person of warm welcome and hospitality. Especially if the person before me is sick afraid, helpless, afflicted, a stranger, or one of the least in community. My heart could be a field hospital for them. I will find a way to do this, even if I cannot meet the other face to face.
welcome. I breathe in the spirit of welcome. Then I imagine and feel the spirit of welcome breathing a special welcome into me. I breathe it in deeply. Wait. Then breathe it out through me to warm all those with an anxious heart and to support those who need urgent healing now. I repeat as desired. Breathing, welcoming, helping quickly. I end in thanks, considering two questions. Firstly, if possible, how might I make contact and reconnect with one who really welcomed me? Second, to whom and how do I pass on this exercise? Who urgently could be a person of welcome? Who urgently could be a person of welcome now? Prayer time. Go gently, using the generous time you have put aside for this prayer. If you've been especially moved by any of these steps, either touch or desire or welcome, go back to that place and rest in it for a while. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the first of our little exercises. I'm going to keep offering these on a weekly basis. I'll move through each section. We did the first today in welcoming admissions. And now I'm going to close with the sign of the cross that contains with it a little prayer of compassion. And it goes like this. Clothe me in compassion. Clothe me in kindness. Clothe me in humility. Clothe me in patience. Let your peace rule my heart. And I take three breaths. The first, I breathe in the spirit of peace. The second, to feel compassion and peace quieten me. The third, to breathe out my gift of peace into those wrecked by greed, pride or honours. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed that first little Ignatian exercise. You don't have to overthink it. You might like to try it again. Let me know how you're finding these little experimental pieces. Until next time, bye for now.